and India's unmanned mission to the moon Chandrayaan-1 is all set for launch in April 2008. The ground infrastructure for the mission is being set up by the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO in their rural outskirts of Bangalore. And now installation of a giant antenna is complete and it's all set to begin performance tests. It would seem to be an unlikely place from which to provide tracking and command support for India's first mission to the moon. But the area around Bialalu village was ideal in many ways for the setting up of the country's first deep space network station. Bangalore is already congested with too many mobile towers and the telecommunication network which is prevailing. We cannot afford to have, um, in that midst, we cannot have any uh, sen very sensitive installation in, the, in terms of radio frequencies. And with the barriers which you see around, with the hillocks that are uh, really uh, protecting our uh, campus, with that we will certainly uh, have physical barrier for the noise that uh, intrudes into our system. Now, three years after deciding that this was the spot, a 32 meter diameter antenna has been installed. This portion of the project will cost 100 crore rupees, out of Chandrayaan's total project cost of 386 crores, and is the work of several agencies. The antenna is now ready to undergo performance tests for its important tasks. It provides two-way communication with the satellite. Okay. One is it uh, enables uh, the reception of downlink signals, what we call the telemetry signals coming from the satellite. Okay. Uh, that will tell us all about the uh, health of the satellite. And also we should talk to the satellite because many of the systems are switchable from ground. So you need to switch on a system, switch off a system, do a maneuver. All these telecommand operations, what we call the telecommand operations, wherein you order the satellite to do certain things from ground. This is also helped by uh, the same antenna. And also we do what we call the tracking operations. The deep space network will take care of not just Chandrayaan-1, but future deep space missions as well for both India and other countries. This rough rural area outside Bangalore is part of a natural crater and that makes it an ideal location for that giant antenna which has a diameter of 32 meters. And that great big antenna actually marks a giant leap forward for India's very first mission to the moon. Maya Sharma in Bialalu for NDTV.